Opposition leader Deb Frecklington has vowed to do better after languishing behind the Premier as Queensland's preferred leader. The LNP's front woman admits she has her work cut out to convince voters she deserves the top job. Tegan George reports. She was a hit at Beef Week. <laughs> But the latest poll shows opposition leader Deb Frecklington still has a lot of work to do before that's a possibility. Hey, look, we know we need more Queenslanders uh, to get to know me. I'm looking forward to get to know more Queenslanders. I'm the underdog. The LNP leader's popularity has taken a dive in the preferred Premier stakes, with Anastasia Palaszczuk now leading her by a staggering 20 percentage points. Oh, look, I'm just very uh, honoured and humbled, and of course I just keep doing the best I, I can for the people of this state. Anastasia Palaszczuk is inoffensive because she quite literally isn't doing anything. But it's Ms Frecklington's popularity that's sliding from 31% in February to 27%, two points lower than the support shown for former leader Tim Nichols in November. Well, I don't think they should be changing again so quickly, so let's keep her for a little bit longer, shall we? The poll shows the Palaszczuk government is continuing to gain ground, now leading the LNP by 53% to 47% on a two-party preferred basis. I think if you work hard, people see it. We are obviously meeting our election commitments. Uh, I think that's what people want to see, is that when you promise something, you do something. But Deb Frecklington and her team will get the chance to take on the Palaszczuk government again when Parliament resumes tomorrow with the developer donations ban and local government reforms set to dominate the agenda. Catter's Australian party has concerns about the state's proposed new powers over councils. You know, you can't legislate for idiots. You're going to get the odd bad apple in councils, but I don't think that means we should be marching in and trying to take control of all these uh, councils. The debate is expected to start tomorrow. Tegan George, 10 Eyewitness News.